Hi everyone, my name is Siri Rivas from Empowering Light Language. And this is my lovely mother, Sulma Verdejo. So hi, my name is Sulma Verdejo from Serene Fusion. And um, I've been the teacher for 35 years, even though I retired. Uh, I consider myself a teacher still. Yeah, it doesn't really end, does it? Yep. Like even when you keep changing all these different things. And we're here to talk about children today. And there's so many things that we can talk about with children, given her many years of teaching experience. I've been um, working with children since I was 11 years old, really. It's, I've basically been dedicating my life to children. We both have in different ways. I've mm -hmm. chose, I'm choosing not to actually have biological children of my own, um, given that there's just such a huge need out there for my gifts and capacities with children in a totally different way. So I am dedicating my professional career to children with special gifts and capacities and we've had a lot of different examples and experiences with them over the course of our combined over 50 years of, of experience with these kids. Um, one of the things that we were asking questions about was what else is possible for these children that we haven't actually considered. We've been playing with um, some tools in the last five years that have just catapulted what we've been able to create with children, with families, and with professionals who work with these children with special capacities, with ones who are, are considered to be behind, who have had different labels and diagnoses. And we also have many of them in our own family, and we've been noticing some amazing changes um, in so our family. And my question to you is, like, how many of you have these challenges, have challenges with school? Um, the kids, are, their voices are not being heard. Yeah. Um, they're being suppressed. Um, from talking or things have to be very rigid. Mm -hmm. They have to work with certain ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. And as parents, how many of you, uh, the math is different. Yeah. It's different. The science is not like as we were growing up, it's not the same type of math. And they keep changing it repeatedly. So the teachers, as soon as they got used to a certain way of, of a curriculum and materials that they're being used, they change it again and they're being expected to do more and more in their classrooms. So from all different angles, we've been seeing a lot of frustration. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and teachers with class overload in classes, you know, yeah. teachers have been, uh, um, you know, under stress as well because they have the one that learn fast. Yeah. And the ones that are not learning that fast, the ones mm -hmm. that they need a little bit more attention, more TLC, more new different strategies. And the ones that learn fast, they're getting bored they're getting really bored and then they might start showing some behaviors that aren't necessarily functional or helpful to them in the school environment because they're bored out of their minds or they're, the way that they're learning isn't being met. The, the strategies that differentiated instruction that they require isn't, be able to, isn't being provided and it's not from a lack of effort from the teachers. They have so many things going on. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the parents that I work with is like, how can I help the teacher help my kid? And then how can I, help my child at the home and empower them when I have all these other things going on and that I have to, that I have to deal with. I maybe have multiple kids mm -hmm. with different needs and different gifts. And how, how many do I of do you that? know, <laughs> how many of you know somebody who's autistic? Mm -hmm. Who have ADD, ADD, ADHD, you know. OCD. So, and what do I do? Mm -hmm. You know, that's a question. I don't know what to do. Many people is only even have a question. They have that they say, I don't know what to do. Yeah. So what about if there is something, something else out there that might help, might assist in 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 helping you, giving you know new ways of for these kids to excel and not to be bored. Yeah, and for them to feel like they're being acknowledged mm -hmm. and not made wrong. I mean, that's one of the things that that no matter what, if they've had a diagnosis or not, a lot of these kids are being made wrong. They're being judged to the point of some of them brink of death. I have some kids where they're cutting themselves, where they're committing suicide, yes. where they know of other children that have committed suicide, and it's becoming more and more prevalent, unfortunately. And so what if we could actually provide some tools for them that would help them find a se like a sense of themselves in this world when everything else doesn't seem to really work. Yeah, it's not really working. And so we would love to invite you to play with some of these access consciousness tools at, this, at an intro class called Being a Different Possibility for Our Children. We're going to be having different dates, different locations, different times, so we'll put all that information in here for you. Um, or you can also contact us directly. 
Uh, my number is 847-567-4978 in, in the United States. So it's the um, country code one. And then Sulma's number is country code one with 847-722-2340. 847-722-2340. And the other part with this as well is what if you actually could acknowledge what you already know that exactly. works with these exactly. children? Exactly. Because a lot of us with all these points of views from our bosses and our the superintendent of the school, the director, the principals, the parents, you know, the parents are being inundated with these forums of all these other parents' points of views about what they should do with these kids. What if you could take a moment and acknowledge what you already know works for your children and the children that you work with and work, worked for you when you were a child and then just add on these other tools that would create a little bit more ease and space that would give the sense of joy with learning again that doesn't seem to be the priority as much in many of the schools around the world. And sometimes you diminish yourself because you give them the power of older people that they know more than what you're you spend most, most of the time with your child. You know a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, so. That's what I talk to with a lot of the parents I work with. I'm like, you're the expert on your child and they're the expert on their life and you'll know more about them than me. And so what if we can work together to have your child be more successful, be more functional and have way more fun in their life and whatever they choose as a career as well. So, so that's what we're going to be talking about in our being a different possibility for our children's so calls you. and classes, and we invite you to play around with that. Please let us know what you already know that has been working with your child and with the children that you work with. Post below, and we will also include information about that you can ways of reaching us and these classes that are coming up. We're super excited about creating a completely different possibility for these kids because the way that with that we've been functioning in our school systems okay. is not working. And we all know that. And so mm -hmm. what if we could actually be an invitation to a different possibility for them and for us? So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. And we'll speak with you soon. Bye. Bye.